Android boxes with rock chip processors are perhaps the cheapest available now in the market. However, they are also the most difficult device to troubleshoot when they get stuck. The best way how to prevent you from this kind of trouble is to immediately back them up while they're still working fine. TWRP is probably the most popular custom recovery used to back up and restore any Android device because of its user-friendly operation. However, a lot of rock chip Android boxes are not compatible with TWRP. Wag magalala kay Bigan. There are special tools that are readily available to our disposal in order to back up and restore our rock chip Android boxes. I will show you how to use them properly to successfully create image files of your device current firmware and how to restore this firmware when your device already begins slowing down. Let's get into it. Bugging up your Android box is the most important thing that you must do when you purchase one. For the case of rock chip devices, this will take a bit of an effort from your part to accomplish this. Well, do not panic, for I am about to show you the step-by-step -step procedures in doing this properly. This has been tested successfully on two variants of MXQ Pro devices with rock chip RK3228A processor. However, as a disclaimer, I don't take any responsibility for any damages done to your device in following this procedure. Even devices with the same model name such as the MXQ Pro 4K 5G can have different chipset configurations. One method may not work to the other, so please proceed at your own risk. First thing to do is to determine first if your Android box really has a rock chip processor. This can be done by using an Android application called Device Info HW. Just download and install this from the Play Store and once done, run it from your Android box. The app will list down what type of processor you have. Alternatively, you can also open your Android box and remove the heatsink installed on the processor to check its model number. However, I do not recommend this as you are required to use a thermal paste to put the heatsink back on. Failure to do so will cause overheating on your device and may damage it. Kung wala kang thermal paste, just don't do this kind of verification. Once you have verified that you indeed have a rack chip device, we can now proceed in backing it up. For the backup procedure, we will be needing the following. A Windows PC or laptop, a rack chip driver assistant, rack chip Android tool, rack chip RK dumper, a full USB mail-to-mail -mail adapter, which I have provided the link below where to buy this, and lastly, a precision screwdriver. First, we need to download the required tools from our PC or laptop. Open your preferred internet browser and in the search box, type China Gadget Reviews. Open their official website on a separate tab. On the website search bar, type Android Tool Release. On the search result, the latest version of the Rockchip Android Tool will be listed first. Open the link on a separate tab. You will be given several links where to download the Rockchip Android tool. For this case, I will be choosing the first option. Open the download link on a separate tab. Click the download button to initiate the download. Once done, you can now close the last two browser tabs. On the previous website search bar, we can now type Rockchip Driver Assistant. The latest version will be listed first in the search result. Open the link on a separate tab and you will be given several links where to download the Rockchip Driver Assistant. For this case, I will be again choosing the first option. Open the download link on a separate tab. Click the download button to initiate the download. Once done, you can now close all the tabs except for the Google search page. On the Google search bar, type XDA RK Dumper. Select the link that directs you to XDA Developer Forum about RK Dumper and open it on a new tab. Download the RK Dumper version 108. 
Once the download is completed, open the folder where the files were downloaded. In Windows 10, the default location is in the download folder. All the files that we have downloaded are all in zip format. Select all these files and extract them using the built-in window file compression tool or any third-party app such as WinRAR or WinZip. In my case, I will be using WinRAR to extract each archive to their own separate folder. Once finished, select all extracted folders and cut them as we will be placing them on a new folder. Navigate to your C drive and create a new folder. Rename this folder to Rockchip Tools. Go inside this folder and paste all the files we have previously cut. I will be renaming the folders according to the sequence of their use. This is for you to understand the procedure better. Once done, go ahead and select the first folder which is the Rockchip Driver Assistant. Open it on a separate window. We need to install this first because our PC needs to have the driver before it can communicate to our device. Double-click the executable file and click Yes. Click Install Driver and wait for the installation to finish. After the installation, click OK. You may now close all the windows related to the Rockchip driver. Next, we need to minimize our Rockchip tool window to properly manage the sequence of activities we are about to start. Select the third folder which is the RK Dumper and open it on a separate window. These two windows will each represent the two important track chip tools, which is the Android tool and RK Dumper. Open the Android tool folder until you reach the executable file. Open AndroidTool.exe. The RK Dev Tool window will be opened. Notice at the bottom part that there is no device found yet. Our Rockchip Android box needs to be in flash mode first before it can be connected to your PC via the full USB mail to mail cable. This particular step requires you to press the reset button on the Android box by inserting a toothpick or a precision screwdriver into the AV port of your device. I have opened my MXQ Pro 4K 5G for you to be able to actually see how the reset button looks like. Makikita nyo dito na as we push in the screwdriver through the AV port, mapapansin nyo na napepress din yung reset button ng Android box. With this, nagka-idea na kayo kung ano nga ba ang laman ng MXQ Pro 4K 5G ninyo. To set the device into flash mode, First, make sure that the power supply cord is not connected to the Android box. Then, i-coconnect nyo lang yung HDMI cord na galing sa TV nyo papunta sa MXQ Pro. As for the full USB mail-to-mail -mail cable, plug the other end of the cable to the USB port of your PC. While the other end, yabang nyo lang siya sa USB port na malapit sa AV port ng Android box nyo. Don't plug the USB cable yet. This will be done later. Next, get your position screwdriver and insert it to the AV port. Itulak nyo lang pababa hanggang maramdaman mo na may magkiklik. Don't release the screwdriver yet. Hayaan nyo lang siyang nakapress sa reset button. Habang nakapress pa ang reset button, you can now plug the USB cable. After 1 second, you can now release the position screwdriver. Going back to your PC, you will now see at the status bar of the RK Dev Tool window, that a loader device has been found. This just means that your MXQ Pro has been successfully connected to your PC via flash mode. We can now begin backing up our device. For the backup process, we will be using RK Dumper and this will be executed via the command prompt application. Go to your desktop search bar and type CMD. This will bring out the command prompt application. Simply open it as an administrator by right-clicking it and select Run as Administrator. Click Yes for the User Account Control. The Command Prompt window will appear. 
Let's resize it and put it beside the arcade dumper window. Open the arcade dumper 108 folder. Inside this folder, you will find the arcade dumper.exe. Do not execute it. This needs to be opened via the command prompt window. To execute it, we have to copy first the folder address where the arcade dumper exe is located. We do this by clicking an empty space in the folder address bar to highlight the directory. Right click it and select copy. We can now go to the command prompt window. Type cd space then paste arcade dumper.exe directory we previously copied by pressing the control key and V in your keyboard. Press enter. Now that we are inside the directory of arcade dumper.exe, we can now begin extracting the image files of our Android box by typing arcade dumper.exe space dump. Then press enter. The dumping process will now commence. You can also view the brand and the exact size of your flash storage in your Android box. This process will take time, so I will just fast forward this part of the video. Once done, you will see a message that the configuration files have been created. It means that the dumping process was successful. Type exit and hit enter to close the command prompt window. Your Android box will now reboot until you are taken to your home screen. You can now use again your Android box. It has been reported that under rare circumstances, a few Android boxes get stuck to the Android or Mbox logo after the dumping process. Well, don't worry, this is just a minor glitch that is present on some devices. And if you happen to experience this, just do the toothpick method to manually reboot your device. Isa lang naman ang kailangan nyo for this method. You only need a toothpick or any long pointed device kagaya ng precision screwdriver na gagamitin ko ngayon. Make sure that the power supply cord is not connected to the Android box. Remove the USB mail-to-mail -mail cable from your device at ang maiwan lang dapat is yung HDMI cable na connected din sa TV nyo. As for the power supply, iabang nyo lang siya sa power port pero huwag nyo munang isasaksak. Next, get your precision screwdriver and insert it to the AV port. Itulak nyo siya pababa hanggang maramdaman mo na may magkiklik. Don't release the screwdriver. Hayaan nyo lang siyang nakapress sa reset button. Habang nakapress pa ang reset button, Pwede na ngayong isaksak ang power supply. Then begin counting 3 seconds, then tsaka nyo palang i-release yung precision screwdriver. Wait for your device to light up. The light will tell you that your Android box is now rebooting to recovery. Your device will now reboot to recovery. Wait for the Android recovery menus to show up. Select Reboot System Now. Your Android box will now reboot. This will take a few minutes so I will just fast forward this part of the video. Once you're taken to your home screen, you can now use again your Android box. Going back to our PC, we will now notice that a new output folder has been created inside the arcade dumper folder. This new folder contains all the images, parameter, and configuration files that were generated during the dumping process. This whole output folder will now serve as your backup files for your Android box. We can now rename this folder according to our preference. For this particular demo, I will rename this to a more sensible name for me to remember it. You can now close all the active windows as our backup process is already done. You can now congratulate yourself on creating your first backup ever. So what now? How on earth will I be able to restore all these files in case my Android box got messed up? Okay now, settle down, don't panic. In the next step, I will show you how to restore the backup files we've just previously created. We will be using the exact same tools for this purpose. Open the location where you have saved the Android tool and rock chip dumper. In our case, it is located in C drive under the folder rock chip tools which we have initially created. Open each tools folder on a separate window so we can better visualize and understand this restore process. We can now open the android tool.exe. 
click Yes for the user account control. The RK Dev Tool window will show up. Let's put it beside the Android Tool window. On the Download the Image tab, this is where we have to place the backup files to restore. By simply looking at it, we can notice that it needs 11 files for the restore process. Let's compare that number to the amount of files generated by the Rockchip Dumper tool. Let's open the RK Dumper's output folder which we have renamed a while ago. Inside is the image folder. Let's open it. Inside this folder are 13 image files. We can now notice that this number is greater than the required categorical files needed by the RK Dev tool. To solve this, what we have to do next is to increase the number of categorical files by the RK Dev tool. We can do this by simply going back to the output folder. Copy the file which says config16.cfg and paste that to the Android tool folder. We can see here that there is an already existing configuration file. Simply delete this file. Now select the config16cfg file which we have previously pasted and rename it to config.cfg. This will now change the current configuration of the RK Dev Tool window. However, the new configuration will not get reflected yet until we close the active RK Dev Tool window. Let's close and reopen the Android Tool application. Click Yes. The newly opened RK Dev Tool window will now show 16 categorical files for the flushing process. We can see that there is a checkbox for each categorical file. This means that the only files with the check marks will be the only ones that will be flushed to the Android box. For the loader category, let's leave it unchecked as we will be using the original loader of our device as we don't want to mess that up. As for the parameter, let's put a check on its checkbox. The parameter file can be found on our backup folder. Let's make a copy of this file and rename it as parameter.txt so we can be able to edit its contents. Once done, open it with Notepad. All we have to do now is just to clean this up a bit to make it readable to the RK DevTool application. We simply remove all characters prior to the word firmware. We also need to take out any characters after the close parenthesis at the end. We can now save the file. Going back to the RK Dev Tool window, we can now place the parameter.txt by clicking the last box at the end of the parameter categorical file. Navigate to the location of the parameter.txt file or you can just simply copy the address bar of the backup folder and just paste it on the navigation window for ease of use. Select parameter.txt and click open. As for the required image files, simply navigate to the image folder of our backup folder and select the corresponding image file. Click open. Do the same thing for the categorical file numbers 4 to 15. For item 16, user data, just leave it unchecked. Now we are ready to connect our Android box to our PC via flash mode. To set the device into flash mode, First, make sure that the power supply cord is not connected to the Android box. Then, iko-connect nyo lang yung HDMI cord na galing sa TV nyo papunta sa MXQ Pro. As for the full USB mail-to-mail -mail cable, plug the other end of the cable to the USB port of your PC. While the other end, yabang nyo lang siya sa USB port na malapit sa AV port ng Android box nyo. Don't plug the USB cable yet. This will be done later. Next, get your position screwdriver and insert it to the AV port. Itulak nyo lang pababa hanggang maramdaman mo na may magkiklik. Don't release the screwdriver yet. Hayaan nyo lang siyang nakapress sa reset button. Habang nakapress pa ang reset button, you can now plug the USB cable. After 1 second, you can now release the position screwdriver. Going back to your PC, you will now see at the status bar of the RK Dev Tool window, 
that a loader device has been found. This just means that your MXQ Pro has been successfully connected to your PC via flash mode. To initiate the restoration process, simply click the Run button. All the files we have placed will now be flashed to our Android box. Wait for it to finish. This will take time so I will just fast forward this part of the video. Once you see Download Image OK, it just means that the flashing process has been successful. You can now close all the windows and disconnect the device from your PC. Your device will now reboot to the backup image we have just set up in the Arcade Dev Tool window. Congratulations, you have now successfully restored your Android box. It has been reported that under rare circumstances, a few Android boxes get stuck to the Android or Mbox logo after the restoration process. Well, don't worry. This is just a minor glitch that is present on some devices and if you happen to experience this, just do the toothpick method to manually reboot your device. Creating backup files of your device is the most important thing to do when owning an Android box. This will give you a peace of mind and will free you from a lot of headaches kapag nagsimula nang magloko ito, lalo na yung pinaka-notorious na box na itago na lang natin sa pangalang MXQ Pro 4K 5G. Learn how to familiarize yourself in using the backup method dahil for sure, never na kayong kakabahan in the future. Hope this video was able to help you. Next time, I will teach you how to bring a new flavor to your Rockchip Android box by simply looking for a compatible custom ROM and flash it using the Rockchip Android tool. Stay tuned to the channel for more helpful videos. Alright, that's it for now. Hanggang sa muli mga kafrugal, this is Lawrence and have a good day!